Hi, my name is Dawn Peterson, and I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on your own domain. Now, this is assuming that you already have uploaded the WordPress files to your web space, and I'm going to show you how to make sure that your domain name points to your host, and then you can install. So here you see my Google domain setup, and if you look down here, I have theomakes.com and I click for DNS settings. Go here to name servers and choose custom name servers. And you can add one if you need, but I've only got two here. Then in my cPanel at my web host, first I need to make sure that that domain is added onto my account. And I've got some fields up at the top here where I can put in the details about where it's going to be located. And then it gets added to my list of domains here. Going back to my cPanel home, now I want to add the database that WordPress requires in order to run. So I would add a new database here and click Create Database. And you can see that mine is added right here. I've already got myself added as a user, but in the case of cPanel, you have to make sure that you assign a database to a particular user and give them all the privileges. Now here I am at the site. I'm going to click Continue in English. And it's going to give you some instructions. It's going to need that database name, your username, password, and the host. So up here for database name, I'm going to put in the name I entered. My username for the database the password to get into the database and the database host in my case can stay as localhost but the table prefix you really should change for security reasons okay so we're ready to go I'm going to run the install I need to put in a site title a username and by default, a lot of people use admin, but that's also not very secure. I'm going to throw a password in here. Right now, I'm going to start out with a weak one. I can change it later. I'm going to put in an email address as the administrator of the site. That way I get notices from the site. You can also choose whether or not to have search engines access your site. Then I install. And this can take a moment. In this case, it does take a couple moments here to get it actually installed. I can start thinking about my first blog post. And I have success. So I'm just going to log in, use my username that I chose, the password that I chose for the WordPress installation. This is maybe different from the database. And because it's been a few weeks, probably since I first uploaded the WP files, the WordPress files, I have an update already to Kismet. So I'm going to run this update. And now I'm going to go and make an update to my name. Here I want to put in my actual first name and last name and the nickname that will appear when I post and display name publicly as there's usually a few choices there. Down here I can change my password if I like and update my profile and I'm good to go.